group processes. Now let's look into some of the terms in social psychology. The first one is group facilitation. Now what do you mean by group facilitation? It facilitates, okay? Now when you have a group facilitation happens, it means you, your performance on the task would improve in the presence of others, okay? Um, also it occurs in a simple and well-learned task, but not with the tasks that are difficult or not yet mastered. Now, group facilitation, it happens um, when people are watching you and then um, when people are watching you, okay? Question is, do you perform better when people are watching you or do you perform poor, poorer when people are watching you? Now, um, they have found that simple tasks makes the person in the presence of others perform better, okay? But, Please do not try to prove to others that you are better when people are around, okay? It will just, it will affect you at, at, in terms of feelings and you get excited and worried, okay? And then that would. It only happens in simple terms, okay? Now, let's say um, there are groups of two students or two people chatting behind um, their boss, okay? Now suddenly their boss would come in, okay? What they do, of course, for sure, their behavior would change, okay? Now, we just now I talk about the simple task, okay? Now, what would they behave right now? Would, would, would they behave in terms of building an aeroplane model? Um, no, that's a bit difficult. What they would do is just might be just a simple task, just sitting nicely and be quiet and just say, yeah, sure, yes, are, are we agreed on this? Okay, they would um, act in the simplest way, okay? Now, these are called the simple one, yeah? Now, we become more careful and also more alert, okay? Because we are concerned about other people's perception and also other people's evaluation towards us, okay? Now, um, when people are present around you, it causes a mild arousal um, around you. We might have, I might have a class, I might have tutoring a class, okay? And suddenly, in the process of tutoring, suddenly a guy comes into the room, uh, comes into the class, okay? It does make me stop for a while and wait, okay? Okay, there's someone coming in, okay, what should I? People do stop for a while before they continue, okay? And last one, of course, beware of the distraction from others. Distraction actually does impair your facilitation or your performance, okay? You might not, um, distraction from others just now as I talk about means when someone come into the room and the person will distract you from performing the best that you can do yeah next one if you look on the table 18.1 now you look on the home advantage in the major team sports okay if you notice people like to look in terms of home or away now home or away now do players perform better when they're at home ground or do they perform better or when they are on the away ground most likely when they do predictions when it's home um, many people would predict that the home players would win the game okay now if you see the sports we have baseball football ice hockey and soccer okay and you can see the games studied okay now the first one the game studied it's a lot it's huge amount we round it up to about 70,000, 70,000 of games played, okay? This is a very, I think it's a very reliable and trustable statistic. Now, we look in terms of the home team winning percentage. It is more than the 50%, okay? It is slightly more than half. Half meaning um, it can be win or lose, okay? Definitely. But when you have a home team advantage, you might increase your advantage by a 3%, to 20% as you see if 69% you minus 50 it goes into a 19% difference okay it does it really give an advantage um, to the players it does but is it huge not so okay more importantly not just the home ground but also the support of the the I mean of the, the team okay a huge support or the shout of supporting them it will make a huge difference, yes? Next one. 
Um, Zhejiang modeled of social facilitants, he looked um, at three components. The first one, he, he said that social facilitation, um, in the presence of others, the first reaction you get is aroused. Aroused means that you get aroused by the situation and uh, you get alert, okay? You, you get extra alert on the surrounding. Now, after that, you show your dominant response. Now, what do you mean by dominant response? Dominant response, it means by the response that you're most likely to do, okay? What are the things that you're most likely to do? And usually, these are the things that you do best, okay? See, it's the facilitation of simple tasks and also the inhibition of complex tasks. Now, when people are around you, try not to do complex tasks, okay, unless you're really good at it, okay? And try to do more of the simpler tasks. And sometimes, uh, I do acknowledge we cannot choose to, if you want to do simple or complex tasks, okay? More importantly is that always be prepared, always know you're staffed, um, always know what you're doing, okay? Um, always train yourself over time so that it becomes part of your... From part of your complex task, it becomes part of your simple task, yeah? Sometimes when you get aroused or people get excited to you, suddenly the simple thing, like, uh, where are you right now? Um, like, great, even, even like Great Eastern Mall, you can't even remember the name, okay? Um, sometimes people feel the critical time because of this thing. They get aroused, they get too much excited, okay? Now, some thoughts that you might want to consider. Now, let's say if you're at the boss, okay? Now, if you're the boss and you're gonna employ some employees, now, would you have an open office plan or would you go in terms of a closed door office? Now, what I'm saying is that, would you encourage your employees to be open? Meaning there's no window, there's no curtains, there's no um, closed windows and um, walls between. But just I can see you, everyone can see each other, what you are doing. Would you do that or would you have, rather have your employees to be placed in, in their own quiet rooms and they do their own things? Now, which one is more, I mean, which one is better? I mean, some people would say... Um, it's better if I keep observing them because I'm not sure what they are doing, okay? But some people would say it is better for them to have some privacy, okay? Now, it's up to you to, um, to decide on this. But what people do is that um, people, misused, um, people misuse the kindness that you have, okay? It depends. Different people, they do differently. Some people, they do need some privacy to be able to act. I mean, how are we going to do things when everyone just keeps staring at us all the time? It is very hard, okay? But given some privacy, given some space, and also given some time, I mean, the person would perform, okay? Yep. Now, the second one, the opposite of social facilitation, it is social lofting. Now, social lofting means the tendency for people to exert less effort, okay? Now, social lofting happens because um, there are more people in your groups and that's why you think, that's, that's why your presence in the group is not so important and not so obvious. And that's where you put less energy and also less responsibility into that group processes, okay? Now, rope pulling, as I've said just, um, before. Now, when you put two people together to pull a rope, they would exert a great force, okay, just to pull the rope. Now, but if you put in additional three people, do you think um, they would exert the same force? No, okay? Every person's exertion um, on the force would be different, yeah? And also a group memorizing test, okay? Now, um, some people, they like to have a group um, competition. Now, when you have a group competition, it's quite nice because there are times that you cannot answer and that your friends can help you to answer or your partners can help you to answer, okay? And when you do social facilitation, the focus is more onto you. People do, um, do observe you, they do know your presence. But in social lofting, you are less, you are more of hiding behind the bushes and just try to hide yourself. Yep. 
Now, how do you differentiate between are you going to 